सब्सक्राइब कर लो कर लो बत... I finally have the Super Meteor 650 right next to me. ये देखो. Hi guys and welcome back to Bike with Girl. I have just flown into Goa uh, a few hours ago. Uh, in spite of being super sick sardi khasi not malaria uh, and thankfully not covid my god varna kya hota uh, basically wali ran ke le gayi thi bahut dust kha liya and then the dust has caused all sorts of allergies for me my sinuses are completely blocked up but yaar super meteor se milna tha i had to come there was no way i was going to miss that and i had to tell you guys all about this thing okay so for starters how yummy is the new super meteor 650 by the way it's got a whole bunch of firsts and i'm going to tell you all about them right now it's the first time an ari gets full led headlamps and there's clearly a lot more chrome going on uh, in fact i'm seeing a lot less plastic parts on this for the first time a royal enfield motorcycle actually gets usd forks upside down forks आप लोगों ने बोला एंड आर यू हैज फाइनली लिसन इट्स हैपेंड द स्विच की योर हाउसिंग स्लैश द स्विच की योर क्यूब्स दे आर मेड आउट ऑफ कास्ट एल्यूमिनियम दिस टाइम मैन इट्स द फर्स्ट टाइम यूजली इट्स ऑलवेज प्लास्टिक ओके आई नो कि तुम लोग वेट नहीं कर सकते टू हियर द साउंड ऑफ दिस इंजन सो आई एम गोन स्टार्ट हर अप फॉर यू ऑल लेट्स गो मैं बैठूंगी नहीं क्योंकि ये जो है सारा बर्न हो जाएगा सो प्लस ओके मैं नहीं करूंगी So basically, this gets the same 648 cc parallel twin that is running on the Interceptor and the Continental GT 650. That is why I love this engine so much. It's definitely got a brand new chassis going on over here, and this tank is a lot bigger. Uh, this is actually two whole liters more than what the other 650s get. So this is a 15.7 liter fuel tank, which means you can ride for much longer. and this is meant to be that beautifully grunty parallel twin cruiser right so you you're going to want to have enough fuel to be able to like just go for long those long long rides chalo let us see how comfortable this is ah mummy <laughs> abhi karna padega bye karu it's hot chatke lag rahe hain yaar oh god okay <clears throat> oh that felt heavy and actually even heavier than the interceptor So this is the heaviest ARI on sale by the way this is a whole 241 kgs actually if you go to see this is probably as heavy as the Multistrada V4 right now man that's insane and seat height wise i love it because look at me dude how how this how cool is this this is so nice i'm just chilling over here the seat height on this is 740 mm and it's actually lesser than its younger brother which is the 350 meteor Okay let's check out the display Hmm nice and bright shows up well So it's got an analog clock right here It's also got the tripper navigation, which is true to RE. So, if if you look at the rest of the cockpit, it, it's got adjustable levers on both sides. Okay, so what I'm seeing right here is a 19-inch tubeless front wheel, which is the first time I'm seeing uh, RE do something like that in the 650 lineup, especially. And it's got a 16-inch tubeless rear. So I was saying that I love how the bike looks. I love that it's got that extra bit of chrome and less plastic. And overall. it's just a more premium looking product than 
most of what RE offers. I feel like this is going to be a hit abroad. Log isko bahut chahne wale hain because especially because you have the roads there, you have the motorways there to be riding long distances. Yahan pe bhi I think it could be a massive hit if it is priced nicely. Uh, so let's see. I mean, we were all surprised by the Interceptor and Conti, and now we see them all over the place. So I won't be surprised if they price this well. Uh, what do you guys think of the new Super Meteor 650? and uh, what do you think of my coughing wo bhi bata do please uh, tell me in comments <laughs> anyway do subscribe like and share and uh, we have a very interesting video coming up next so subscribe kar lo kar lo kar lo bata rahi hu main